Yeah, so I'm again standing around in a different section of a kind of aborted wave defense run. Um, to talk about a variety of things that I want to do differently in the vicinity of RCUs, because I think it'll save a couple of seconds and let me get let me get onto the later parts of the run earlier and then come back and fix things up later, which is probably going to be faster. So, I mean, hopefully, we'll see. So the, the modules red chips plan is still the same. We'll still run, we'll still buffer the red chips here. Uh, we've got these two belts of green chips, one of which feeds all of these guys and then the first two blue chips, and the other with which loops all the way around for the last three blue chips. I think, yeah, there's, those guys get up, set up later. It's sort of modules, and well, the, yeah, the belts go in when the modules build happens. These guys all get built immediately after modules, but there's eventually going to be a splitter here, but I don't think I worry about that. Like, I don't even think I worry about these things. Maybe this box goes in for spacing, and then we just leave this assembly here. Um, these guys need steel and coils to be hand-fed, but after that they'll, they'll make all the beacons. So it's these guys, and then go and do the acid and the cracking, bring the acid back, put the blue chips here, and with this buffer here, like, I always want to pick up these things anyway. Like, even if I... Even if I, yeah, let's, the splitter that will eventually happen over here is going to be prod mods on the left. And then this guy gets not that many. Um, doesn't actually matter how many. Um, this is going to be the, uh, this is still the assembler that makes prod mod 2s in this kind of pattern. But by setting this up later, I can get hopefully the blue chips online faster. Um, and yeah, these, these things pivot back to modules after they've done all the beacons. And then the RCUs, we want to build... Actually, yeah, first, first we want beacons. I think these beacons need to go in at the same time as we're making these blue chips. I think the blue chips want to start with beacons. A lot more blue chips than we need. We'll get to that later. Um, but also, all these things, I kind of need these myself immediately anyway. Because I've got to handcraft the other assembler threes I need for RCUs. RCUs we're going to copy from the blue chips because that puts prod mods in. And so I need those prod mods myself anyway. Um, the next adjustment that I want to make is I want to put these directly in boxes. Um, so this is going to be how we build RCUs. And then this belt can just wander in here. We need more beacons on the other side. Some number of beacons. And then I just want to copy all of this thing again. And... Uh, it's actually a little more belt than we need there, don't we? Um, this is... yeah. Some of these... this is slightly more beacons than I need, but whatever. So I already needed all those prod mods and a bunch of speed mods anyway. So the fact that they were in boxes over here is fine. Um, because I've got a bunch of them on my person, I can also just hand feed these things and get them online faster. Not that at this point that really matters. Um, I think n previously I've also had like a splitter here and done a thing and made sure that each of these guys get half a belt that they want. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I don't think I'm ever going to have so much stuff on these belts that one of them is going to back up. Like it, if, if everything is running properly, there just isn't that much stuff on the belt, so it's fine. Um, so these things, these things, if I had if I had belt here, then I would need to worry about building another buffer over here and all this kind of stuff. If I'm just boxing these immediately, then the RCUs are basically done and I can just go and get onto LDS. So that's the next thing to happen. We'll build some LDS over there. Uh, there's a bunch of then other kind of tweaks that I want to talk about. For the first, I'll need... Yeah, this this one is going to struggle for plastic. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, we're going to red belt a bunch of stuff in the plan as normal. Also because because I've been talking about stuff instead of actually thinking about it, I've almost certainly got all the prod mods I need. In fact, I've also got prod mods on my person which I need to give back here, but that's fine. Things that aren't a real run anyway. And um, yeah, so one of the observations is at some point somewhere in this build, or maybe somewhere over here, the last speed module will get made and is advancing to the silo at this rate, which is unimpressive for me. So I've got some red belt, we're going to build red belt as normal and yeah just just as a thing that goes into the plan and all of this here can be red belt and now we're getting things to where they need to go faster. This section here can also be red belt and um, these guys don't need, these guys are picking up green chips and they're picking up red chips. The fact that this is 
the, this red building things they don't want is also fine. And the next of the adjustments I want to make is also for belt delay purposes. A little bypass in here that puts red ships on the right. This is So this is at the point where these guys are done. Or at least are close enough to being done that I can take out this inserter hand feed him some number of blue chips to make sure that it's going to get everything it needs to finished and then oh that's actually on the wrong side cool and then also red belt because why not um to about here to get all the blue chips and all the speed modules much faster from wherever they're being built into where i'm making us use and why these guys oh these guys don't have oh yeah because i've still got speed modules it's fine. That, that was a thing we are going to kind of hack together anyway. And yeah, there, were, there was a night phase. We did always day for to be able to point to builds and stuff like that. Um, other things, yeah. LDS will happen somewhere. Um, these, yeah, the, this, this run is running out of red chips, but that's fine. I think this is still more blue chips than I want. And I think the eventual plan for a couple of reasons is to track how many blue chips I'm making, which should be about 780 or so-ish. Pivot all these guys to modules to crank out the last of the modules, which also go into the same belt, which also then get back into the RCUs. And then, hand, yeah, at this point, delete a bunch of these things as well. They're still powered because we put the other power poles on the other side of the beacons. And then be able to pivot these into RCUs and even handcraft I say kind of handcraft, like, I guess grab from the belt and hand feed another one or two cycles of RCUs from these other assemblers, which are nice and fast because they're speed modded. I need to grab them myself anyway. I, pivoting them to speed modules first popped out the prod mods. They were never going to make enough to, to proc the prod mod bonus, so that's fine. That just makes them faster. Um, the other thing that should have happened by this point but hasn't is, yeah, with an LDS build here, we need to, we will have a way to, we'll have belts that are headed towards the silo. So we can take kind of this pattern. Um, we need more power grid here as well. And so we've still got a way of unpacking all these RCUs later. Um, yeah, pretend pretend there's an LDS build here, which is just taking all the stuff towards the silo. Where even is the silo? Whatever. The silo's over there somewhere. That That's all an LDS build that happened in an actual run. And then the last complication here is we're standing around watching the numbers waiting for us to get to 720 RCUs because that's probably the thing we're waiting on. We've got a couple of other RCUs which we need to collect over here which is a little bit of a pain. Um, some of these modules will already have been moved to the silo because once we're unpacking these things and once we've got all the Prodmod 3s the silo should be doing stuff. But also this is not particularly conductive to run down at the end of the game so I think we're still just going to alt D this put normal belt in here. I mean, that's kind of a pain, but it's a pain that happens when nothing else is going on in the run. Like, this is... This is... This is a trick of... Okay, so we'll, we'll start off boxing them, then we'll do this kind of unpacking thing, and all of that is a little bit inconvenient, but it's me doing work at times when the base is already getting all its stuff done which hopefully should make things faster overall. Like, the RCUs should go down faster, because I don't worry about putting belts down and then buffering those belts and then unpacking those belts. I can just go, copy the RCUs, go and do the LDS, come back and unpack all of these things once the LDS is already running, and then replace this weird underground pattern and also this other bypass over here, while I'm just waiting for getting enough RCUs, which is kind of looks like this anyway. It's kind of waiting anyway. Um, so if I can, yeah, if I have things to do, if I have sequences that let me do useful stuff earlier and move some of the work to when I'm waiting, I think that's better overall. We'll see. I mean, this is, this is probably into the scale of only a couple of seconds, but also we're at the region where we're looking at the difference between... 51 minutes and 53 minutes being a huge deal so so we'll see yeah we'll, we'll try and go fast with we'll this i mean this run is still a mess we've got other junk around here but you know whatever it's it's fine sure that's those are some things i wanted to do differently about rcus